Welcome to the Robert McClory Bike Path. Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you today from the city of Winthrop Harbor, Illinois. Uh, technically, that's not true because I'm actually standing in Wisconsin. Uh, but as soon as I cross that bridge, I'm crossing from Wisconsin to Illinois on the Robert McClory bike path. Uh, right now, we're at mile marker 0, 0.0 of the Robert McClory bike path. As I stand here in Illinois, on the Illinois side, uh, this is Russell Road here. Before I start making my way south, I uh, wanted to see what the signage was over here. Uh, the Robert McClory bike path, when you hit the Wisconsin state line, uh, turns into the Kenosha County bike trail. We got good signage here for that. Check out the other side. Leaving Wisconsin, entering Illinois. All right, I'll do the rest of my intro in Illinois. All right, so I crossed the bridge. We are now officially in Illinois at mile marker 0, 0.0 of the Robert McClory bike path. This is also US Bike Route 37. Uh, that's something I'm gonna look into later. I'm not exactly sure how the US bike routes are laid out or how well they're laid out. So that'll be interesting to see. So we're looking south on the Robert McClory Trail uh, right at mile marker 0, 0.0. Uh, I have ridden the entirety of this trail before, but never all in one shot. Uh, the Robert McClory Bike Trail is tw just about 25 miles long. It stretches the entirety of Lake County, Illinois, uh, and it ends right here at Russell Road uh, where we cross from Illinois into Wisconsin. So this is basically what the trail looks like. We're starting right at the state line. It ends at Lake Cook Road, which is uh, the dividing line between the county of Cook County and Lake County. So this is one of those very rare times where I was dropped off here. So I do not have to ride the entire 50 mile round trip. Uh, so my wife was tied up with some obligations for today. Uh, so I had uh, about four or five hours I was able to dedicate to riding today. Uh, so uh, she dropped me off at Winthrop Harbor. So I rode up the mile up to the top of the trail here. And now uh, I'm just gonna ride the 25 miles all the way down to Lake Cook Road. At which time I'll let my wife know that I'm done with the ride and she's going to come get me. So uh, ordinarily this would have been a 50 mile round trip, but I'm able to squeeze it in in about half the time because I don't have to come back. So that's one of the reasons I actually started the ride in Wisconsin, just so you guys could see that because I'm not going to end there. I've only ridden to the top of this trail once. Uh, while I am decently familiar with Lake County, Illinois, uh, there, once you get uh, more and more north, uh, I'm not exactly familiar with all the little towns. According to the three different weather apps I checked, uh, it's not gonna rain. So even though the sky very much looks like rain, apparently we're not gonna get rain. So that's good. We'll see how true that is as we progress south here. One more thing before we get started. There are some short sections of the 25 mile Robert McClory bike path that go through some sketchy areas. It's been a couple years since I've been on the northern section of this trail, and since I knew I was going to ride this trail again this year, a few months ago I reached out to someone I follow on YouTube to find out their thoughts. This is Detective Matt Thornton from the Zion Police Department. He's really popular on TikTok and YouTube. The Robert McClory Trail goes right through Zion, so I figured he'd be a great person to ask about the trail. Seneca Zombie, is it safe to ride through Zion on a Robert McClory bike trail? During most hours, yeah, I've seen, uh, I mean, it's a different perspective for me because I, any crime that's happened on there, I've seen it and handled. There have been a lot of bad incidents on that over the years, but I kind of have a skewed uh, way of seeing that because of the, I don't go there like every day. If you think about it from my perspective, I remember bad incidents that happened there, but they, they're few and far between. So there, I can't say there haven't been terrible things that have happened, haven't happened on that bike trail, but during the day, for a day-to-day -day basis, you, you should be perfectly safe. I've put his channel link in the description. I urge you guys to check him out. I'm super excited to check out this trail, so let's get started. We 
we just crossed mile marker one. I just pulled over so I could show you guys. Uh, we're just past 9th Street, just south of it. Uh, this uh, is a little uh, side trail that connects you to the gravel parking lot here. Uh, this is where my wife dropped me off. So they are parking all, well, all the way up to here, I guess, down this way. They got the Winthrop Harbor Public Works here. It is a bit chilly this morning. Uh, we just got off of like three days of super warm temperatures here uh, towards the end of August. The heat index was like 100 or something. Uh, but this morning, uh, right now it's hanging at 70 degrees, which feels completely fine when I'm standing here. But as soon as I get moving, slightly too cold.
All right, so we're like 11 and a half miles in. There's definitely not much to stop and do along this section. I saw a bunch of parks that we passed, uh, not a single one at a restroom. But as you saw, we did a little corkscrew around here. We went through that industrial area. We came under here, looped around, and now we're back on uh, this side of the road. It looks like we're right by the National Museum of the American Sailor, which I guess is in, the, in here somewhere. All right, so we've made it as far as Lake Bluff, uh, right here at the Metro Station. Uh, in a previous ride, uh, I started a ride from here. It was the first time I was on this section going north on the Robert McClory bike path. I parked here at the Metro lot on a weekend and just rode here up to the state line and back. That's what that ride was. So, and then separately, uh, I do have a ride, one of my loops, that involves the Skokie Valley bike path, uh, uses the Robert McClory bike path from Lake Hook Road all the way up to Lake Bluff. Uh, just down over this way is the North Shore bike path. And we're looking at downtown Lake Bluff here. There's a bunch of uh, restaurants and stuff this way. And uh, you could also make it all the way down uh, to get a glimpse of Lake Michigan. I'll insert some footage. Uh, that I took, uh, I think it was late fall when the beach had already closed. Uh, that way you can see what it looks like all the way down to the water. At this point, we're just going to continue making our way south. 
This is the exit here for the North Shore bike path. Uh, you would just hang a right and then it curves around underneath the railroad tracks. On the North Shore bike path, you could take it all the way west and then uh, there is some uh, sidewalks you could ride on to where it connects with the Millennium Trail. And then from the Millennium Trail, you could take it all the way into Wakanda, Lakewood Forest Preserve. All right, so I pulled over, uh, as you could see, uh, they have a lot of porta potties right here. Uh, they have some sort of event going on. This area is reserved for artist parking, so I imagine it's some sort of art show going on over this way here. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick map update since there's been uh, basically no maps on this trail. Uh, so we started up here at the state line and we've made our way through uh, looks like Waukegan and North Chicago and Lake Bluff and Lake Forest uh, past the Fort Sheridan Forest Preserve uh, through Highwood. So now we're in Highland Park. Uh, after Highland Park, we're going to get up to the Ravinia and then we're really close to the end of this trail at Lake Hook Road. As always, when given an opportunity, Take a moment to recognize old Glory, waving in the breeze, as she should.
Highland Park does indeed have a map here. Uh, looks like uh, we are right here. We're getting very close to the bottom of the trail. Looks like there's a bunch of parks. Uh, Jen's Jensen Park. I remember stopping there at one point. Uh, we got Ravinia right through this area. And then I think Lake Hook Road is right here. All right, so that does it for the Robert McClory bike path. Uh, we are right here at uh, Lake Cook Road County line between uh, Cook County and Lake County. Uh, the path continues on this way. You'd hang a left and then you can make your way. The bike says I did 26 miles or so. So it looks like uh, you can make your way uh, close to 26 miles all the way up to Wisconsin, at which time as you saw, that trail continues into Kenosha. Uh, one thing you'll definitely notice uh, right when you get to the end here is the trail continues. Uh, it continues as the Green Bay Trail uh, headed south here into Cook County. If we look at it on a map here, uh, this is south is up here. So uh, we're right at the end of Highland Park. So we would go through Glencoe, it looks like, Winnetka. Kenilworth and it looks like it ends in Wilmette. Trailing says that the Green Bay Trail is 6.5 miles one way. Uh, I do not have time to do that today but it is going to be a trail I'm going to explore in the near future. I'm pretty sure that the trail that this bicyclist just came out of is what uh, some of you guys were pointing out after I rode the North Branch Trail uh, which I believe I did the top loop and I think it topped off somewhere over here and then there's a way to access a trail that goes right by the botanical gardens that comes right out here to the Robert McClory Trail if you were to head north or the Green Bay Trail if you were to head south. That is something I'm going to be checking out the next time I'm out here. Let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. If you are familiar with the Robert McClory Trail and you have a favorite spot on it, definitely let me know where that favorite spot is. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you are interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks. So that's all I got today from the Robert McClory Bike Path. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.